नमस्ते आई एम मंजुला वेलकम टू मंजुला किचन टुडे आई विल बी मेकिंग बटर नेट स्क्वाश पास्ता स्पायरल पास्ता विद क्रीमी बटर नेट स्क्वाश सॉस इज ए लाइट एंड सेवरी पास्ता डिश विद ब्यूटीफुल स्प्रिंग कलर्स गार्निशिंग विद बीट रूट एड से गोरमे टच आई वॉज इंस्पायर टू मेक दिस डिश वेन आई टेस्टेड बटर नेट स्क्वाश एंड बीट रूट रेवियोली इन इंडो इटालियन रेस्टोरेंट इन दहली दिस रेसिपी विल सर्व टू टू थ्री फॉर दिस रेसिपी वी नीड अप्रॉक्सीमेटली थ्री कप्स ऑफ पील्ड एंड कट स्क्वाश आई यूज अबाउट हैव द बटर नेट स्क्वाश अबाउट टू एंड हैव कप ऑफ स्पायरल पास्ता वन टेबल स्पून ऑफ ऑल पर्पज फ्लावर मैदा टू टेबल स्पून ऑफ ऑलिव ऑयल वन एंड हैफ टी स्पून ऑफ सॉल्ट हैफ ए टी स्पून ऑफ क्रश्ड फेरल सीड सौंफ वन फोर्थ टी स्पून ऑफ ब्लैक पेपर हैफ ए कप ऑफ हैवी क्रीम वन कप ऑफ मिल्क फॉर गार्निशिंग वन फोर्थ कप ऑफ श्रेडिड बटर नेट स्क्वाश एंड वन फोर्थ कप of boiled and shredded beetroots this is a very simple recipe to follow first boil the squash puree it and using the puree squash make the creamy sauce boil the pasta and put both things together and garnish with shredded beetroot and shredded squash is ready to serve first i will boil the butter net squash over medium heat with 1 and 1/2 cup of water this squash water after it comes to boil it will take another 4 to 5 minutes butter net squash has started boiling I will cover the pot and let it cook for about four to five minutes, and it should be really very soft and tender. So this has been about five minutes. So let's check it. The squash is ready. It's very tender. So I'm going to turn off the heat and let it cool a little bit before we will make the puree. while the squash is cooling off we will boil the pasta so this is about 4 cups of water boil it over high heat before we add the pasta the water is boiling i will use half the salt and half the oil add the pasta and let it cook this should take about 6 uh, to 7 minutes pasta is ready nice and tender it took me about 10 minutes and now i am ready to make the sauce okay yeah, squash has cool off and i'm going to make the puree is looking good now i am ready to make the sauce heat is on medium add oil and all purpose flour maida stir and cook for about 10 minute okay it has been about a minute and uh, as you see the all purpose flour I just change the, the color very lightly. Now I'm going to add the cream. Keep mixing. You want to make sure there is no lumps. Milk. Add the 
add the remaining salt black pepper fennel seeds let it come to boil and then I will add the squash okay. milk is boiling and you can smell the sweet aroma of fennel seeds time to add the squash and how beautiful color this is now I stir it and let it cook for about two to three minutes sauce is ready and I am ready to serve I have to do the individual serving so do the pasta and then I will put the sauce It's looking good and it's ready to garnish. You want to garnish this individual serving because beetroot leaves the color. And what do you think? It looks beautiful. Butternut squash pasta looking delicious and exciting adding fennel seeds gives a very nice aroma and pleasing taste surprise your guests with this exciting dish enjoy this gourmet butternut pasta thank you till we meet again check out more recipes on manjulaskitchen.com